In the first part of our tutorial here, we're just going to introduce a basic void function in iOS. So this is going to be a function that has no return type and no parameters. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to create this simple function and all it's going to do is print out a little statement and then we're going to call it in the main function that is actually where we make our function calls and variable assignments. So again, this is just going to be taking a look at a very basic function. Now that you've seen what a basic function is and understand a little bit about what they do, let's take a look at a simple void function that's not going to take in any parameters and it's not going to return anything. All this function is going to do is it's going to print out a little statement for us. Now, we could just have a print statement in here. Previously, all we've been doing is assigning some value to text, so some kind of a string like hello, for example. And this will change the text label that we have on our phone app, which is here, to hello. We could just do that, and we could make the call in this function here. But I'm going to demonstrate what it means to actually make a function and then call it in here. So this is where we'll be generally making function calls. This is where we've been assigning variables so far as well. So let's take a look. All right, so this is going to be a it's going to be a public function and it's going to be void. Okay? Because it's not going to have a return type and let's just call this print function because that's all it's going to be doing. So we set up our braces and let's just set that up there. Okay, so, so far we have our function name and we're going to call it print function because that's all it's going to be doing is printing a statement and it's going to be a void return type and we're just going to say it's public which means that we'll be able to access it throughout every file. Now it's important to, like variables, it's important to name your function to be indicative of what it's actually doing. So because this function is only going to print, we call it print function. And generally, function names are action words, so they're verbs, whereas variables and objects are nouns, they're, they're just object words. G generally because a function is actually performing an action, it's doing something. Okay. So let's just have this print something out. So all it's going to do is assign the label, label text, some kind of a value. So let's have it just print out Mammoth Interactive. We'll give it a capital there. Okay. So when this function is called, all it's going to do is it's going to carry out, execute this line, so everything within these two curly braces here and here. And that all that involves is giving the text or the label text this string here, which is Mammoth Interactive. So if we were to run it right now, it wouldn't really, nothing would really happen because we haven't called the function, we've only designed the function. So this is a little like calling, for example, if we had an integer i equals 5. Well, that's nice that we've assigned this value to i. We've, it's nice that we've created this variable, and we've given it this value, but we haven't used it at all. We haven't really done anything with it. So now that we've created the function, the next step will be to call it. So let's do that again in the view did load. And the little line I just got rid of was just a commented out label.txt because I no longer need it. So just if you were a bit confused about that. Let's go ahead and call our print function. And we don't need to store this in a variable because again, it's a void return type. So it's not going to return any kind of a variable. So now we've called our print function in this function called view did load. And again, this is what's going to run. This is what's going to, is where we're going to make our function calls and for example, print statements or variable assignment, etc. So now we've called our function in view did load. So when this runs, we'll call this, we'll call our print function, and our print function will just have this text print out. So let's go ahead and see this in action. We'll run this with the iPhone 5S again. 
So if all goes well, we should just have the text, the label that we assign to our phone. We should just have the text saying Mammoth Interactive. So build successful, and we're just waiting for this to run. There we go. We're loading it up. It's being a little slow, but that's okay. It's the first time we've run it today. Okay, and yes, there we go. We get Mammoth Interactive printed out there. And that's because, again, it's just a simple print function. All it's doing is assigning the label text to contain the string Mammoth Interactive. And we called it in the view did load function, and so it printed out. So this is a basic void function. Again, not taking in any parameters and not returning anything. It's just a simple print function. This is pretty much the same as doing this and just assigning the text down here. So if we said Mammoth Interactive here, it would do pretty much exactly the same thing as making the function and then calling it, but I just want to demonstrate exactly how to call a function. So we took a look at basic void functions in iOS. What we did is we created a function that just printed out a statement, didn't take any, didn't take in any parameters or return anything. It was a, just a simple void function. We just had it print out the statement Mammoth Interactive. So by now we should be able to create a basic function to perform a simple task and you should know how to call it. So it's all good to be able to create the function, but again you need to be able to call it. In this case we had a void function so we don't need to store it in a variable, but we'll be looking at functions that have return types soon.